instead of thinking about all the things that you don't like in your life right now, why don't you start creating the things that you do want in your life right now? I love this quote that says, a vision without an action is a daydream. An action without a vision is a nightmare. Now you don't want a daydream just to be a daydream and you don't want a nightmare. You want that daydream to become your reality. And how do you do that? I'm gonna give you four key steps in this video to visualize effectively so that you can actually manifest the things that you want in your life, the things that you like to do in your life. If you don't know me, my name is Rachel Smets, and a few years ago I was still stuck in a corporate job that I hated. And the more I focused on that, the more it kept me stuck. But I took these four steps and I visualized, and now I'm living the life that I love. I'm traveling the world and sitting in a beautiful location with, by the way, that's the real ocean right behind me. And I'm loving my life and I'm helping ambitious professionals to create this escape plan so they can transition from being corporate into being a freedom entrepreneur and being their own boss. Because you know, professional, successful people, athletes, they all use the visualization techniques. Why? Because it works. They envision their victory. They envision winning the game. They envision that. Why? Because it works. Everything starts with a vision. Everything starts with a vision, an image and that becomes reality. Because the more you hold that image in your mind, it becomes your unconscious, and the unconscious mind doesn't know the difference between what's real or what's not real. So the more you hold that image in your mind, even if it's not there yet, your unconscious mind is gonna believe that it's reality because they don't know that, because it doesn't know the difference. So what I'm saying is that everything starts with a vision. You hold that image, you hold the image, the vision I mean, and that will become your reality. If you haven't done so already, I want you to like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell because I make videos every single week to help you, to motivate you and inspire you. And I want to reach more people to help more people live the life they love. So if you hit the like and hit the notification bell and the subscribe button, then YouTube knows, hey, that's a video to watch. So it would really, really help me. And you would do a favor by doing just that. So diving into these four steps to effectively make your dream a reality, to effectively visualize and actually manifest your dream. If you hold that vision, this first step, the first step is the frequency. The frequency. This means the amount of times that you hold that image in your mind, that you envision just that, the frequency. Is it when you open your eyes in the morning, once a day, when you close your eyes before you go to, you know, before you fall asleep or both during the day, you know, how often, how many times, what frequency do you hold that vision in your mind? Obviously, the more times a day you do that, the more effective it is. Number two, the duration. That means how long are you holding that vision? Is it one second, a few seconds? Is it a minute? Is it, is it a few minutes? You know, how long do you hold that thought? Obviously, the longer you hold that vision, the more effective it will become because you want to be in that frequency. You want to elevate that vibration. You want to hold that vision long enough and often enough so that it becomes a reality quicker, right? So number three, super important, the vividness. The vividness means how clear is your vision? Is it like, mm, I want to be an entrepreneur. Great. But doing what? What exactly? You know, you need to be clear. The more clear you are, the better it will be to manifest and become a reality. So for me, I, I, I envision myself traveling the world, but to make it more vivid and more specific, I literally saw myself pack my suitcase 
and go to the check-in office at the airport and, and handing out my ticket and my passport and going through the gate and stepping into the plane and stepping out of the plane and seeing a blue sky just like this. I manifest this, by the way. I was in corporate envisioning this a blue sky, the ocean right behind me. When I wake up in my bedroom here upstairs, I'm seeing this, right? So the more clear you are, the better. So not just, oh, I want to travel, but see yourself, like literally traveling, even if it's not a specific location, but be as specific as you want. If you're stuck in a job, maybe you're envisioning handing in your resignation letter. I did that too, like literally, I saw myself writing it, and then I hand it to my boss. Amazing, amazing. Number four is super, super important, and a lot of people forget this. Number four is, the emotion you bring into this. So that is the intensity, right? Number four is the intensity or the emotion, because it's one thing about thinking about it, about, you know, uh, having that image and doing it, you know, you know, often enough, but the emotion, like I, I felt it, like I felt like, oh, I'm so excited to, to be traveling and I'm excited to see these beautiful places. That emotion is super, super, super important, okay? So feel it, feel those butterflies. If you're thinking about loving somebody, feel, feel the excitement in you when you're traveling, when you're handing your resignation letter, when you're being with your family, when you're going home like, yeah, I quit my job and I handed in my resignation letter and I'm, I'm doing what I love and just feel the emotion because that is really, really, really crucial. So those are the four steps. Please comment below if you've done something like this, if you're in the process of envisioning something, if you want to manifest something, everything starts with writing it down. So in the comment below, I want you to write down what do you want to manifest. I want to know what you want to manifest because when you write it down, it gives more power to it. So write in the comments below if you've done something like this before, how and what have you manifested, what do you want to manifest, and Again, hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Remember, I'm here to help you escape your corporate and do what you love. So I'll put the link below to my um, free gift to get unstuck. And you can follow that tutorial. It's a free training that I made, seven steps to get unstuck in your life. And so you can escape the corporate and do what you love. Make sure you um, find that right in the comment below or in the description. And I'll see you again next week, next Wednesday, another video.